Welcome back fellow gamers. So today there's something I wanted to do that I've been trying to do all season and it just never worked out. Bad luck. <laughs> um, so let me... Don't die. As you can see, um, let's go up here and you should be able to, should be able to tell exactly what it is I'm trying to do. As you can see my levels at the bottom, I'm at 999. And we're almost at 1000. I'm trying to get to 1000 forever. But I just keep dying. And we should hit 1000 soon. I gotta kill my Minecraft volume or else this is gonna be terrible for everyone. Did we hit it yet? Let's see, 1000, look at that. Finally hit the 1000 <laughs> in Minecraft. Woohoo, look at that. We did it, we did it. Level 1000. Haha. <laughs> so now we don't have to worry about it. <laughs> I've been trying not to get myself killed. I've gotten myself killed so many times trying to do this, trying to get to 1,000. I just keep dying. So for today, I kind of want to finish up my base. I want to get my base all nice and finished. So I'm almost done. I showed a little at the end of the last episode with what I was doing. So now we're back in my base. I'm going for this whole like, it's kind of like a whole bird type aerial. Like the land is just bad. Um, I needed lava because I want to add some lava flows in this place. So I kind of put together a quick lava farm. And this is a lot faster than I thought. I didn't think it would be this fast. And it's actually pretty easy to do. So I got a few more fine tuned stuff to do here in this place, right? For one, I need to get rid of anything that's not like these buildings. So all these things gotta be cleaned up. I'm pretty much gonna destroy all these items because yeah, I'm never going to use them. I think I need to move this somewhere else. But I don't think I need Shoki anymore because this guy is producing more than enough. So I'm just going to enclose that and get rid of this one. And what I want to do right now is work on this area. I want to, I'm going to fill this out. I'm not going to have enough time to do anything in the bottom there. But I'm just going to cover this up and then put lava. I am hoping to have flowing lava all around and maybe send it all in one corner so it looks like it's I don't know yet. I'm trying to figure out how to do this. But that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. So let me just go ahead and start placing blocks. All right, let's take a look at what I've done so far. So far, this is what I'm thinking, right? I don't know where these shadows are coming. Oh, my um, shaders. But I'm thinking like lava fields around a place like this. Um, <laughs> I needed so much lava that I had to actually go about to make a lava farm. And that's what I've been using to like just collect lava. But yeah, I'm thinking like a bunch of like these around the place, like lava fields around. Um, just to go around, I'm starting to clean up a little bit too, as you can see here. I'm trying to remove some of this stuff to make this place look decent. I still got to put structures around these, but I have no idea what to do. I removed the bamboo farm, removed my little thing. I'm actually going to take this down. But yeah, so this is what we have so far, the progress. I covered this with lava, because I think that's going to be better. Even though it didn't come out as expected, but whatever. Yeah, so I'm thinking this is what the area is going to look like for the most part. And I just got to like find a way to spread this around. Like spread it all the way around here. I'm not sure how I'll do it yet. I'm thinking I'll light some of these trees afire so it looks like, you know, the lava is just like doing this stuff. I don't know. I'm still trying to figure this out. Because the idea I have had in my mind, like, you know, with the lava feel and the whole black, the background, it's not really coming out exactly I want, the way I want, but we'll keep playing around with this a little bit more. Um, So yeah, so let me just jump in there and do some more lava placing. Um, All right, so we are back. I got the shaders on. Let's take a quick look at this area, <laughs> what we've done so far. Because I've been busy. I've been busy trying to get this all set up. So let me take a look at the air, show you the air looking, and I'm kind of excited for it. It looks really nice. So let's go see. Here we go. So what I've done so far is you can see the aerial. Um, I'm using a shader, and I actually do like this fog effect it has. Um, it's actually pretty nice. So there's still a few things that I could have done a little better in the game in, on this area. But for now, I think as far as I've gotten so far, this is like my biggest and best base so far. I think I'm satisfied with this for now. Um, so this is kind of my area, right? And we have like lava over here. Like it's a big lava field as you can see this setup going and it's kind of like spilling through. 
I might connect these two before I log off. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it's all set up. The lava looks nice. I got a little lava field there, like I mentioned earlier. So when you come down now and you look at the bottom, so if you're walking around here, right? I don't know why there's two golems there, but they're there. This over here, I wasn't sure what to do with it because this is where my um my little kill chamber for that is. So I wasn't sure what to do with it, but I figure I put it in a little box like this and then have like the black stone eating it up a little bit. I think that came out pretty good. And I like that. Yeah, I think this came out actually pretty good. I think this came out pretty good. I like how it looks. I like how it came out. I think it looks really nice. I rebuilt this little church thing. Um, I kind of messed it up a little, but you know, it's <laughs> it's pretty good. Now the lava feels like I mentioned earlier. I actually do like this. Um, I wish I was a, I was a little bit more creative <laughs> than to make this actually looks like a nice lava feel. But I don't think it looks bad for my first real terraforming job. And all the time I play Minecraft, I've never really terraformed like a whole area, like never. So this was like my first real endeavor. And it's, um, it was, it was quite, a, it was quite a trip. It was, it was a lot to do to try to figure out to make it look decent. And I think we did it. And as you can see, wow, that's just not good. That shader over there, not nice. Now this bottom part here, right? I wasn't sure what to do with it, but I think it doesn't look too bad. As I have some buildings there, some buildings here. I should finish these buildings. I don't think they're finished. Like they need, I don't know, they need something else. But I put this down here. There's nothing really in it. I only decorated one floor. The other floors, as you can see, no decoration. Um, <laughs> I figure there's no way to get up there unless you fly. So nobody's really going to see those. And I don't really, I'm not a good inter interior. Over here, I wanted to put a building around the breeder. So as you can see, this is where these guys fall into. That's the farm. And that's the other floor. So it's like a nice little three floor building. And you have like, you know, Blackstone kind of like trying to take it over. Except for this side. I got to do something with this side. I don't know what I'll do with this side, but yeah. But all these buildings are kind of like, everything is pretty much hidden in Blackstone somewhere. Yeah, so this is what my base currently looks like. This is what we had so far. Um, I hope you enjoy it. It's been a fun journey to get this whole thing set up. And I might not have said it, but this is going to be my last episode for season one. This is going to be the last episode I do on this base. So this is kind of like our final look for this. To see how this base is, to see how it came. Yeah, and I'll try to see how I find a picture and put like a before and after. Like what this base looked like before. And let me take off shaders so we take a look at that too. Honestly. It looks more impressive with shader on, but yeah, just to give you an idea what the base look like, what's going on with it. Plus underground, I started to do some stuff here, but I just had way too many plants for this season that I just didn't get a chance to finish and I had time several times. Um, I just wasn't available. So we have like a little, a little dish, whatever this is called farm. I have a mining area down here. Yeah, we have a massive mining area down here. We did some mining, as you can see. It's not a ton, but you know, a lot. I still did a lot. So yeah, so here we are. We're back at the base. I got a little map here for you when you come in um, to see what's going on. I'm going to put a chest with wings here because this you can't even get up here without wings. So this is my villagers here. They're in there. Storage up top. Um, I think I did enchantment to everybody up top, the upper floor. Yeah, I need to do something else. Like I just need to move my enchantment table from where it was. Oh, I gotta remove that. <laughs> I forgot I was there. But yeah, I'm actually super excited for this base. It looks really good. I enjoy it. Um, it came out as good as it could. Yeah, so the base came out pretty good. I really do enjoy this. I think it was like one of my best projects yet. And like I mentioned before, this is gonna be the end of my season one journey. So this is gonna be it for me for now. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna do anything else with this. So this is gonna be my last episode for Block Lightning, the final season finale season n or something like that yeah we'll see so i hope you enjoy and look forward to seeing what comes next and i'd like to thank you all for watching thank you for hanging out um i'll catch you later